There's my uh, 1992 Ford Explorer with my uh, HHO cell in it. Um, see, I got some wires tapped into my mass airflow sensor, some wires coming up from my oxygen sensor. Um, it's kind of tough to see in this light, but uh, using ABS drain pipe for my 13 plate cell. Um, got the uh, Zero fossil fuel BWM circuitry here with an old CPU heat sink on top. Um, go inside here and uh, show you what I got going on inside. So uh, here's the back of my uh, control panel. Um, I've got the uh, battery based EFE. If you want to see my other videos? got uh, city and highway uh, potentiometers here and uh, also have a, a relay in here so when I shut my cell off I um, short out both my uh, MAF and my EFE control signals so we go back to stock so uh, I got the glare I'm gonna turn the light off here so we can see what's going on on the oscilloscope so, um, as you can see, uh, this is the output of the oxygen sensor, and you can see the waveform that um, the computer is actually doing here. So, I have the cursor line set there um, at uh, uh, 200 millivolts per division. So, those two lines are between. 200, 400, and 800 millivolts, and as it crosses the center line is the value that the 14.7 to 1 uh, air fuel mixture, and it's interesting to see how the ECU um, kind of doesn't do a normal oscillation. Um, trying to keep this straight, so when the trace is at the top that means the oxygen output is low and the fuel mixture is rich when it's low it's the opposite as you can see a trace across here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my switch on here and um, I'm going to kick in both my EFE and unfortunately that's the noise coming from the PWM so my signal's a little bit distorted but you can still basically see the waveform so now you can see it going between rich and lean the interesting thing here is, is it's just showing that I do have it set up so the ECU is happy so I'm not throwing codes I don't think I think I'm still closed loop because uh, I would think open loop would just be, and you can kind of see that the ECU is doing the same kind of thing that it was before. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, the time base here is 500 milliseconds. So here's the other side of my control panel, uh, looking at the. Uh, output of the shunt from the PWM. Uh, it's not quite calibrated. It's really drawing about 20 amps right now. And I do extend a probe line out and uh, you can see the uh, O2 sensor uh, output there. I think the other interesting thing here is, is I can take my MAF control here and uh, can adjust it. You can actually get it so, you know with staying staying lean, which is uh, exactly what you would think as I increase the um, MAF resistance 
the ECU believes that there's uh, less throughput through the engine and therefore uh, reduces the mixture. Um, so it's kind of cool. And then when I turn it back, um, the MAF deck, you could see it hang uh, uh, rich for a while. So um, I moved the scope probe, and I don't know whether you can see that here, but now I'm looking at actually the output of the uh, oxygen sensor, um, kind of before the EFE. And so you can see that the signal from the oxygen sensor is probably two to 400 millivolts uh, leaner So that uh, I'm offsetting the uh, oxygen sensor, I think about 300 millivolts, to try to bring it back to the normal range. So now the big question is, is uh, the 850 milliliters per minute of uh, HHO I'm producing, is it enough for a four liter motor? Uh, certainly I would like to get more output uh, and I'll be working on that.